In book one, chapter two of 1984, Mrs. Parsons is at the door. Winston was concerned. It might have been the thought police, but she's just his neighbor. She asks Winston to fix her plumbing. While Winston works, Mrs. Parsons' children run around with toy guns, shooting at each other. Winston reflects that children are horrible. Many denounce their own parents to the thought police. A news flash announces a success against the Eurasian army, the central enemies of Oceania, and the patriotic song, Oceania, tis for thee, comes on from the telescreen. Bombs explode in the distance, which is actually a common occurrence. Winston returns to his diary. He knows he will die for his rebellion. Here, Winston remembers a time when London was a very different place. The Parsons' children have no memories often of the original thought or questioning of authority. He is fully aware that he'll be vaporized for the thought crime of writing a diary. Winston realizes that the party controls reality itself, and he seeks to control his own reality by recording his thoughts in this dangerous new world.